don't you feel though um, that with technology today, there's been so much progress in in, in martial arts? How has your judo or sambo progressed? Yeah, it's it's fantastic. You know, it just it's more my students go win. Right. And more people understand it, the difference. Like those days you see a lot of arm bars, a lot of things. The, the, the peop- everybody says, oh, that's a jiu-jitsu arm bar. When I was five years old, I was doing that arm bar. Where it comes a jiu-jitsu arm bar? In Yerevan. Yes. I mean, so so it's just amazing. My main thing is uh, uh, I like to people talk uh, more... Uh, I don't say my style is better than yours right. or, or I can beat you without know who you are, things like that. Are you recording now? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. They, they, oh, we've been know. recording, so it's organic uh, and natural. Okay, okay. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know. Yeah, we, yeah. So, um, basically, um, uh, for me, for me, to be right the point of the, the person, you know, like some, some people say, oh, I can beat that, but I can beat you. You never know who... who the person is correct how you're gonna beat him how you know you can beat him oh because i do this sport and my sport better than your sport there's no such a thing that's why this mma comes up and it proved a lot of people it's not one art it's you need not multiple enough. arts oh and you you've been fighting s- since the no holds barred era before it was called oh, yeah I, I come it was my job actually I, that's the way i keep my family life my mom knows i'm doing a construction I go every week, I fight and come back. Right. And uh, my face was always clean, nobody able to hurt me or anything. <laughs> but that was my life. Basically, before all this UFC, before all this MMA, it was the no holes bar. But don't you think, Sensei, because you were born like at the age five, I think you started training already in judo? Yeah, I uh, no, I started wrestling. In uh, okay. my beginner things, uh, five, I started wrestling. I was uh, in the street uh, wrestling with everybody or fighting with anybody. Uh, the guy was see me and uh, he's a fantastic uh, wrestler and also sambo player. He took me to the Dinamo, they call it Dinamo, the, it's which a, means it's, it's a big organization. Okay, it's a sport organization. Everybody knows if they come from Soviet Union. That when you say Dinamo, they know it's one of they the know. biggest. Okay. Yeah. So when there, it's a, it's a, it's a building like 150,000 square feet, maybe 200. It's all kind of sport, like Olympic sports are going on there. Like in Russia, it's. Sports are uh, once one of the main uh, part of the, of the life and culture, right? Yeah, it's Armenia was a part of the Russia, of course. So, uh, so that's what the first time I meet my wrestling coach. Sure. And then uh, 120 people was trying to register. They have only 10, 10 spots. So I was the luckiest one of the 10. So. So what was that story like? Trying out, you became the lucky 10. What, what did you have to go through? Well, uh, my teacher put the legs on the floor. Okay. He said, anybody pick up my leg, is going to be qualified. So a lot of wow. kids try, five years old, they try to pick up, they couldn't. I didn't only pick up, I pick up and I can take, I tuck him down too. <laughs> and he said, that, you are the number one qualification, you, you qualified right away. Now, do you feel... Because even Dana White and Joe Rogan has said this. Has said this. Armenian fighters are intense. Hmm. Armenian fighters are, are they they don't stall. They go for it. They, they they go for the progress of the position and they just go for it. How much of that is cultural, or how much is that is out of your instructorship that we've seen in your fighters? Uh, a lot of fighters are different. Everybody okay. just mentality is different. And uh, there is a lot of fighters lazy. They don't like to train, but they it's have like work, right? Yeah, they they're very lazy. They don't want to train, but they have that quality. And even the little training, they bring them out in the right place. And a lot of them have no quality at all. But they, they're a hard trainer, and they come to the there also. Do you imagine the guy have quality and like to train hard? That's what the week produce champions correct it doesn't matter what style is when we're talking about MMA a lot of people brag the, the 
we are doing this, we are doing that, we are the best. No such a things. I always say it's a 50 percent. It's you, what you can do. You can have the best teacher in the world, but you don't have that quality inside of you. Or talking about the MMA, you don't have the heart. Right. You see, the MMA, it's all about the heart. So if you had a choice, you had someone who fights at a B level, one fights at an A level, but the A level fighter is 50% or about it, and the B level fighter is always 100%, which one would you rather train? I, it's very difficult to right. say who, what, because MMA is always surprises, you know? When you get in and, and people say, oh, I did mistake. Everybody does mistake. You know, even the, the people they consider as the grandmasters, they do mistakes too. Okay, so we are humans, so we do mistakes. So, but sometimes you have a, a lucky days and sometimes you have a very bad days. But when I was fighting, I was trying to find my days are always lucky. Always lucky. So that's what uh, my side. A, a player or B player, it's still, still, B player can get beat A player if is have the talent. Right. If, because he, B player comes to A player, how that happens? Because he beats the A player, but he never fight the A player before. He beat at that time and he comes the A player. So it's just, that's true. That's the way it is, I think, you know. Now, um, your school has a tremendous reputation of fighting intensely. And I think I'd rather the viewing and listening audience understand why you guys, especially when I used to train here, why, why do you train at, at a higher maximal effort instead of just nice and calm and relaxed? Uh, you know, for that question, I want to, I want to, tell you something before I come there. Sure, absolutely. I always say people, everybody, what they're talking about, name of the instructors, they're very famous. Sure. For me, a lot of instructors that have never done anything in their life. They never fight, they never did this, they never did that. And what they're teaching, I still respect them because they take these kids out of the street and put them somewhere and teach them. But what I don't like it, those kids never go anywhere. Okay. So the parents and everybody thinks, oh, that my kid trained this and that, that, that. Yeah. But the kids are stay the same way. The reason, they, they, they never produce somebody from the scratch to bring the Kama champion. And my things, I was very lucky. I produced uh, too many of those guys, too many. Not, I produce judo comes to judo. I produce 168 black belts. I come, I come bring to sambo. I produce 125 black belts. I did the grapplings. I, I, I basically I make it like over 50 to 55 black belts. It's it, I produce. I make judo change to MMA. I create that. I told my student, take it out your uh, gi, because when you fight MMA, you don't need a gi. The time when we started, you remember, right. people go gi, and I even go my last fight with the gi. The reason I trying to, a little more advertisement, because up without the gi, I cannot advertise things. This is against Mr. May. Yes. The, the one they labeled Mr. May. Yeah. Everybody say, why you fight the gi? I say, well, we have a white gi on the world, and now it's a blue gi. So the, we just want to remember, well, because I never thought about it, but everybody's telling, you know that you're the, on, the first person in the world fight with blue gi. I, I said, well, that's right. I, I never thought about it. Also, another thing I want to tell you about the grappling. Sure. The grappling word, the grappling basically come from us. When I was, doing a wrestling and judo and sambo in my country. I was always wrestling judo and sambo with all the throws. I don't need the gi. A lot of people having a issue, the problem. Right. To throw with, with no it's gi. The transition. They, they don't know what to do. So basically they looking to, to grab the gi, but there's no gi. But me, I was even the young kid, 
I, because I did wrestling, I used all the judo throws, sambo throws, everything in my wrestling. And all the wrestlers hate me because they don't know what I'm doing. They basically wrestle with me and I wrestle with them the way the wrestlers are doing. And I do a lot more different things. It's it was completely unorthodox. Yeah, they don't, they don't understand it and I was winning easier. So that's what, when I come to America, I actually, before I come to, I, I was doing a boxing too. And a lot of people don't know about myself too much. I, I, I can strike too. Right. So people think that I'm a more grappler or judo or sambo. But uh, also that is another thing that people don't know. They're thinking I'm doing a lot of leg locks. And I surprise a lot of people. It's not only leg locks. I can right. do an arm bar and 10,000 times more than anybody else. Key Chokes, locks galore. Key locks, chain, all kind of stuff, you. yeah. The reason why we do, I tell my students do leg lock because I look the world, what is the weakness of other people? Leg, legs, the people don't know. That's why I say, okay, that, that's what their weakness, just go for it. You know how to do it, do it. Right. So, but if the guy knows how to handle it, the defense, then I say, well, choke him out, armboy him, or whatever you want to do. That's why a lot of people say, oh, uh, Gokor, I'm here for learn leg lock from you. I say, okay, I'll teach you leg lock. How about the armbar? Oh, no, I know too many armbars. So I say, show me. Show me one. Show me a couple of them. Let's see which ones do you know. And then he showed me. Show me. I said, what else? He said, that's it. I said, that's it. That's just the beginning. Then I show 50 armbar on a, just in five seconds, 10 and five minutes. And then they blow out. They say, oh, we don't, we never see those kind of stuff. So that's why we building this stuff. I told you uh, it's going to be on the, app. on the app and the soon, and it's going to be fantastic. It's just it's going to mix up all my style in there, the highest on style. I think it's going to be awesome, and it's uh, just good for the fighters, upcoming fighters, because I always respect all the fighters. There's a hard work because I know how hard it is. When I was in an Olympic team, I was in all the. This is more harder than. I, today tournaments, it looks like a little jokes, you know, like right. you watch the world championship, the people put world championship, what kind of world championship is that? It's like really relaxed mat rolling almost, no. right? I do in a tournament here, though these kids come in from other world championship jiu-jitsu or grappling tournament, they come here, their first match they lose. The father say, I don't understand. They just win the world championship. I say, my friend, those world championships are not world championship. This is a business. They just named the world championship, but it's a completely business. Hence why you are training at that intensity. Yeah. Right. You see, I'm more, I, I respect the more the tournament, the Abu Dhabi tournament. Right. Because. ADCC. Right? Yes. Because it has money in the world. It's a professional and all the best fighter goes and fight there. And I consider that as a world championship. As a grappling, gra grappling, it's, everybody thinks the grappling is so big, but it's not big enough yet because not really have organized to bring, like Olympic, to bring uh, like a judo. Right. People think the judo is an easy sport. It's not. It's the hardest sport in it's the deadly. world. Actually, it was second best sport in the world. First, the soccer, football, as a favor of people in the world, and second is a judo. And the reason why, because it's very, very hard. What is the jiu-jitsu come from? It's come from judo. It's a caution judo that's an old judo as a Japanese. Right. If the people can go in and search a caution judo, you will find out all the ground fights, all the same point system. All the same, everything today is as is, is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Now, let me ask you, Sensei, uh, when I was training with you, before I moved and injured myself, I, I was really intrigued and, and, and I was enamored with the fact that you were teaching in Japanese. Yes. You would say all the techniques, Nawaza, Uchikomi, yes. uh, Eponse Onage. Why, why did you decide to choose to uphold that? I tell you why. And when I was in Russia, they don't teach us in Japanese uh, words, as everything is Russian. But when I come to internationally, when I say in Russian word and nobody understands it, right. 
So when I start thinking, I say, well, and something is wrong because now I have to teach everybody. This is the word, not, not the Japanese version of this is Russian version, and nobody cares about it. So I thought it was internationally everybody in the world using the Japanese word because judo is basically come from Japan. Right. So we have to respect where it come from and we show our appreciation. And it's a lot of people like, um, if you look at the jiu-jitsu, they learn from Japan, they learn from Koshin Judo, and they brought it and changed the name as a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So it's not appreciation to Japanese people, the Japanese uh, person who built this beautiful sport. Then of course, I understand that Jiu-Jitsu is a fantastic sport. I love it myself, yes. And it's developed year and year and get better and better. I understand that, but they should call Koshin Judo and this now these days a judo it's a Kodokan judo because the reason why Koshin changed to Kodokan because of the Olympic because they don't take Olympic a longest it's a Koshin judo the reason why was people say it's boring oh because it sounded too traditional or too old older? no it's not too old it was boring because yeah. it's it's peop two people in the grounds lying down together and at that time. And, uh, yeah, it's people boring. People don't want to do Olympic. That's why the why the Jiu Jitsu doesn't go to Olympic. It's because of that. A lot of people don't have the entertainment. The, yeah, the, the, they, they it's not it. entertainment sport. It's a good sport, but it's not entertainment sport. See, they like boxing because the people hit each other, the bleed coming. I see the MMA. It's very famous now, but they will not put it at Olympic because the MMA is a professional. But Olympic has a professional thing too. I think they should put MMA. MMA is um, fantastic because it's adds a lot of stuff in there to people interesting today. It's better than boxing, better than anything today. You know what's interesting also, Sensei, is with your curriculum, I'd like for you to share. Like when I roll, when I was a student here, the role felt completely different from BJJ yes, it's, people. Yes, it's a different style. It, it, completely different. It's a different math. If yes. you could elaborate how maybe, maybe is it is it primarily Sambo or is it your own? You see, place? like uh, it's um, uh, the Jiu-Jitsu style, it's coming like a one way. Right. It's like A, B, C, D. In our system, it's, it's not a, we don't have A, B, C, D. It, our system is that 80% we are going to the submission. But, of course, we're doing a submission, but we all also have all the control. And the position. We're passing, answer. controlling, everything, we have that. We are not really fighting for a point system. That we're fighting a full, full contact system. So, so basically, we, we focus to grab the person from anywhere from the head to toe to finish him right away. So this is our goal. But if we have to play the game with a point, then we play that too. So it's just depends what we play. See, my students, they go judo tournament, they follow judo rules, which is I hate judo rules today. Right. It's very bad. They took all the best things out of them. Like what? Uh, they, 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 a lot of time they, they allowed you to grab the pants, to throw the people, they take this out. A lot of rotation techniques, they took it out. Uh, and, uh, those are the beautiful aspects of judo. Yes, and uh, judo. a lot of grips you have, the different type of grips they took it out. Breaking the grips, they took it out. Now it's, you don't know exactly what you're looking. But when you go fight, you don't understand. Even being a judo player 45 years, I don't understand what they're doing right now. And it's very difficult to I put on in judo instructors and I send them to all the time to meeting and everything so may, that they can understand the rules, what is changing. Every month they're changing something. Right, it seems like we just interviewed um, Hickson Gracie and he said he's trying to make changes also with the point system because there's a revolution right now where people forgot about the true art. The yes, lineage, right? Exactly. Do you I'm, agree with that? I am hundred percent agree with you. Because for me today, to you can prove you're good, you have to allow the person to do things. 
Oh, I can, I tell them, oh, don't sit like that, sit this way only. But I, you like to sit like that, you don't want to sit that way. So it's the way it goes, you know, the people, they're taking out your, like w when I grapple with people, they say, okay, no leg locks. What you talking about? Why no leg locks? Why you don't go learn leg locks? Or you, the people are stored in the ground, even the fight. We are not handicaps. You right, know, we, right. we, we have food, we have a body, we, we can grab it's each available. other. It's available. It's available to learn things. I understand your teacher never teach you in the stand-up because your teacher doesn't know too. Right. Well, go and somewhere else and learn your stand-up. Just don't drop your butt in the floor. That's why when the police, when first of all, when they choosing people to learn, they choose a lot of... They, well, over 100 people come there, they over 100 people, they choose three people only to teach them. And out of the three people, I, I was there because they like the system I have, because we stand up, stand up, we take people down, we control in the ground. If we have to do something, we do there. We do everything. But a lot of people come and they just drop it down and they say, listen, the police in the floor, on the outside, is basically not going to come to fight you and they dropped on the ground and said come to me right there's no such thing of course and you know some of the jujitsu school they do stand up and which is uh, that's the way it's supposed to be should be right but not only ground i i meet in a lot of jujitsu i love jujitsu you know i want you to understand correctly i did myself i trained with a lot of jujitsu guys they come to visit me, I visit them. We, with the Machados. We friends. Machados right. come to me, I go to them. We're friends. We exchange together. I helped uh, Hagen sure. for his Sambo tournament, everything. I love them and they awesome. But I always told them to, you know, even before. And they don't want to do no leg locks, nothing. But today, they do a lot of leg now, locks. Now and it's everything. accepted. Of course. Because they understand that they need those things extra. And um, they, 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 they need to work out the stand up to the time when I, every time I visit them, we do that, some stand ups and have fun on the ground, have fun on the ground. But they always with the gi. I know now they do without the gi sometimes too. For me, I like everybody, I respect everybody. It doesn't matter who they are, what they are, but what sport they are too. But the main thing is I'm, I like to talk true. You know, I cannot keep my friend here and, and, uh, and a stranger there and I keep my friend's side. No, I maybe get stranger side if I know my, the stranger is right. So for me, to self-defense yourself, it's very nice to do jiu-jitsu, but you must do your standing. You must do without the gi. You must know how to punch. There it is. You must know how to defend there yourself. You don't have to just grab and, uh, and put in your back in the ground and said, okay, come to me, I'm gonna do arm bar or choke you. So all these things. That's the reason why the system we have, people like it better, a little bit because we do all this. Look at this, the boxing class is going. A lot of my pro fighters are boxing. The kickboxing class going, it's a different instructor. Benny the Jet is teaching a kickboxing. Then comes to the grappling class or MMA class, I'm the one teaching it. Comes to the judo class, I'm teaching it. Adults only, I have judo instructors teaching the kids or adult, uh, or teaching the teenagers, and my son also teach too. So it's separate. When we do the sambo, we train for sambo for tournaments and other. We do follow the rules. Right. When we go to a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournament, even we are not Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but we learn in the day system, day point system, then we will go. And we win all the time. Just uh, recently, a couple of my students have become a world champion in black belt division. I, they never done before Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Congratulations go, for, on that. Yeah, thank you. But they go first time, they win like three first places in black belt division, and then one is a blue belt division. The kids only train in one year become a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But look, at this is what I'm talking about. How that happened? One year training and it comes the world champion. I don't know. I don't know. What kind of world championship is this? Even my students are champion there, but we need a little bit more organized. World organization. Bring world, bring best of the Germany, best of the Brazil, best of the Russia, best of everywhere. 
organize it. Like at least 10, 20 people of the group come from the, every country, then we can serve as a, as a world championship. I, I think it's an exciting time right now for people like yourself who have the lineage of street and sport, right? But you concentrate on, this is self-defense in the end. This is fighting in the end. Yeah. It's very exciting because it, I feel like there's a rebirth yes. of restudying what really is effective. Now, I'm going to make a statement because I think a lot of people need to realize the glory, or why the glory is attached. Ronda Rousey is amazing because of three things. The intensity of her mom, training under you, and training with men, yes. and mostly men. Yes. What's your reaction to that? I 100% agree with you. Uh, when a Ronda Rousey mom is my friend. Dr. Anna Maria. Anna Maria. While we train together, when I come to America, I didn't even speak English. But I was so much good in the United States. And everybody was looking after me to, oh, this kid's going to be. Everybody called me Russian guy, Russian guy. They don't remember my name. And Anna Maria and me, we was very close together. Anna says, if I have a daughter, I have to train with you. And that's what we always talk about because I was giving a completely different style. And everybody say, this is the style we have to do. This is the style. I went to New York Open. All my friends lost. I was the champion. It was international World Cup. Everybody drink beer. I'm drink Coca-Cola because I'm underage. Right. So it was funny at uh, the boss. But when the Ronda born and uh, the, she she get a little older and everything, she lives far from me, and she start going to different judo places. You want me to continue? No, 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 this? no, no keep going, keep on. Yeah. She goes to the different places, different uh, judo schools over there. Sure. Until she kind of little grow up, and then uh, her mom have no choice, start bringing it to our club, because my club that time the one of the best in United States. We are 11 years, we are cleaning up all the United States judo, and going to Europe. We went to the world uh, team tournament. Our team, 1994, took first place in the world championship. So I'm just represented from me and my team as an Armenian. Anyway, so it's a long story. I don't want to go over there. But what you will. Yeah, but uh, about the Ronda, then she started training the time when all the best guys in the world was there. For the listening audience and the watching audience, at Gokor's studio in, in Sunset, there was the right side, which is the beginners, and the left side. Yeah. It, it was such an amazing time because it felt like you walked into something special. It was like Japanese meets Armenian meets Russian. It, it was so special because you hear Japanese terms from non-Japanese people. And the people on the left side, from Peter Galagian, uh, chiropractor, big yes, guy, yes. Um, Caro, Rhonda, that, that was just an amazing time. And I wanted to share that to the viewers' audience. Yeah. That was a special, special time. Yeah, Caro Manny was a kid. I have another two generations be, uh, before them. So I was teaching it. So when Caro Manny was a young kid, then I have another generation before that. Right. Uh, there's adults before that and they're, very, they're, they're world class. So that's the reason why I'm telling you, I, I, I take it people from scratch. I make the champion. This is the type of teachers I like. When, when somebody, if I, I was not an athlete, if somebody said, I want to take it my, uh, my son to train somewhere, I'm not going to follow the name, oh, this guy has famous name, this guy. A lot of people famous from somewhere else, I don't know how. I will take the school, the school product champions, they from scratch. So now I know this school can help my son and make a champion. So that's what I respect. I don't like people that go steal from left and right. Oh, come to me, train with me, I'll give you more money. And then represent it. Oh, this is my student. Right. They forget about what the lady or the man come from. Yes? You know, just simple like that. You know, like Rhonda started with me many years she trained with other people too 
but the main hard class she has school our school and then also uh, she also did the grappling with uh, the gi with us never nowhere nowhere else both monday and wednesday right yes and and if she you could was, explain oh sorry go yeah. ahead sir. she was coming all the time and she train all the time sometimes she have a little bit uh, issues of uh, coming uh, because of no money and gas and everything. sure everybody helping her and that situation and stuff like that we if she was like a daughter to me and she was the one of the the best things in my life here every time i see her it just makes my day i'm happy and everything because i always tell in her she's sick and tired of hearing this from me all the time you're gonna be champion Rhonda. you will see she come a world champion she come an olympic medalist she went to the colorado spring trained the team over there a long time stayed there come back and uh, one day come to me said um, gokor sensei this is what I want to do. I want to do MMA. I told her, I say, I'm looking like I'm looking my daughter. I say, well, first things I have to talk to your mom. Because <laughs> MMA is not a judo. Somebody can hit you and hurt your pretty face. Right. And they're going to hate me. I said, no, no, I really want to do it. I talked to her mom. I say, Anna, what you thinking? Uh, Rhonda asked me about uh, doing MMA. Should I start? Uh, train her that is a well is it she's an adult now I, I I can say nothing I say as a mom you want to do it he said well I think she's tough enough to go I said okay that's good enough for me so then I tell Randa I said your training are starting double it and you're gonna do your judo you're gonna do focus on your grappling and everything and then you do your MMAs and stuff but um, Hoping that she stay on the champion all the time. Right. And I uh, hope uh, the people give her the right tools and everything. So, because I give everything I have. Today, when she winning, she's basically winning what I give her. And I don't want to take uh, only myself. I know there is another judo instructor stay teach her too. Her mom teach her too. Right. But. I, I give a little bit more than the other uh, gears that yeah, I give a little the, more than the anybody gears. else and, uh, but I like her and uh, I think uh, wishing her the best whatever she does she's doing movies now and everything hope uh, everything goes well she's a wonderful girl sensei this has been a great conversation I, I, this yeah. is amazing that you have your gym set up like this uh, you well deserve this is this is was my dream all, all the accolades yeah this is my dream I, the day I come to America I change it different places first place I lost because of earthquake second place I lost because of El Nino third place was the sunset where you come to right. train that place I didn't lost it 14 years because then it start getting smaller and smaller for me because there's too many students are coming I moved to the Burbank but I, I was I said this is my last place I'm gonna go next place is gonna be my own place I was very lucky I got this place it's 13,000 square feet I bought the building I built the way I wanted it cost me a lot of money but I don't care and now we got over three four hundred students are training different type of things 11 instructors are teaching the school it's making people from scratch we don't steal other people bring here and make the name out of it all my students you look Just at one today, lineage everything i started from the zero to bring to the, the top i as much as i can as much as they train and don't get lazy so and the, like i say i respect all other school teachers all the people are doing good job taking all these kids out of the street but one thing i know what i do not too many people does i teach people from scratch and make them a champion yeah one of the last things i say i like to all the teachers be open mind correct don't 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 scare oh my student go train with somewhere else and someone else will steal it yes that's happened but it's it's a bad people do that not the good people right as a jujitsu the machados are the best as with the highest system i am the best correct if you go to a boxing class 
the boxing coach, he's the best. I cannot be a boxer like him, or a Machado cannot be boxed like him, nobody. So everybody has something special. But if you are one place to learn what you want to learn, this is what you like, that's what you're gonna stay. If, if you want a different something, the teacher has to be open mind to give you a, a permission. Hey, you, this is your home and this is what you are. But you go learn a little wrestling, a little judo, a little sambo, a little jujitsu. Understand, I, there is a lot of jujitsu students are here. They're black belt in jujitsu, brown belt in jiu -jitsu. I love to have them here because they're learning my system and my students are uh, fighting with the jujitsu stylist. So, so basically it's, com it's, c it's, it's mixing combining. up to combining together. You know how good is that? Because if you are as a jujitsu player, you go fight in jujitsu tournament, you're going to be better because now you know another style. If you are a judo player or sambo player and you train in jujitsu, then when you go to your judo, jujitsu, and when the things are happen and you learn from jujitsu, it's going to help you. Absolutely. You understand? This is the why I teach here. Gi classes are judo, jujitsu, sambo, we mix together. Well, let me ask you, if you had a chance to genetically put together a fighter, how many percent of jiu-jitsu, how many percent of judo, how many percent of sambo? I, what would you make it up at? Depends who they're fighting with. Okay, but let's say in general. Let's say you how, had a video game. Yes. And, and, and it said, okay, Sensei Gokor's perfect fighter. Or not perfect, but like ideal fighter. So I choose what out whatever, of these three? Right, whatever out of composition. This three. You know. You can say 40% jiu-jitsu, 60% sambo, and then boxing. What, yeah. what would you call uh, Still very difficult to, ex I, I can answer that sure. because if the fighter is a jiu-jitsu fighter, let's see my fighter fighting a jiu-jitsu fighter, definitely I'm going to tell him to knock him out. <laughs> Punch him or, or take him down hard and beat him up there. What is the jiu-jitsu fighter's advantage in the ground? Why you, even my student ground is better than the jiu-jitsu ground, but why you have to give him uh, that opportunity? Just throw him and beat him up. Or if you're fighting a wrestler, take him down, submit him, choke him out. Or he's fighting a kickboxer, don't kickbox with him. Just go a little bit, hook him, take him down. Use your wrestling, use your judo, use your sambo, use your jujitsu. Because I, when I say all these four together, I don't see a difference. So in the end, there, there should be a, a fine mix. They're all same, you know, I'm telling you. It's same, judo, jujitsu, sambo, wrestling. It's very much the same. This, we consider as a grappling. That's a grappling. Grappling is one word for all these four. It just, the name separately, because it's the same thing like, you speak Japanese, I speak Armenian, he, he speak English, but we are people. Right. The reason why we call you uh, Japanese, because you speak Japanese, you come from Japan. Okay, the next person is Hispanic, it come from Mexico or come from uh, Latin country, then he's a Hispanic, but because he speaks uh, Spanish. So what is the difference as a person? No difference. You, 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 you are the same as me and everybody else, but we speak different language. That's the same thing sport. It's all sport the same, just the names are different because the point system is different. So that's four things you take, judo, jiu-jitsu, sambo, and wrestling, it's all same. It's all same. Everything, all the meaning is the same, take him down, the wrestling put the shoulder down, judo, take him down, hold him there, or armbar him and choke him, same thing as jiu-jitsu. But if they change the rules, it's no point system, everything going to be same. That's true. It's no different. Think about Jiu-Jitsu will be same. Jiu-Jitsu is going to be same. There's no point system, yes? Just on one submission. The wrestler will be have a problem because they don't know submission, but they can learn. But everything, Sambo, Judo, Judo, uh, Jiu-Jitsu, it's going to be one art if that's come with no rules. Man, you just didn't like okay. me, Sensei. You All right, buddy. You just didn't like me so much. Okay.